Well, good morning from Cottage Farmstead. I'm Rebecca. My husband Nathan is working at the farmer's market today. And I get to be the bearer of bad news. Unfortunately, on the tool front, it doesn't look like we're going to either get justice or restitution. So the criminal investigator for Anderson County did identify the driver of the yellow vehicle. Um, they can't share us with us that name or anything like that. But they did identify them. Um, they talked to them. That person admitted to being here. So the criminal investigator took it to the justice and the justice denied an arrest warrant. We don't know why. Maybe insufficient evidence. We don't know. But at this point, the thief is still out there, free and clear. Um, which is, you know, we wanted some justice, um, maybe even getting some damages um, because they, the insurance originally was saying they were going to cover the gator. But then we heard from the insurance this week, right after we heard from the criminal investigator, that they are not going to cover anything, nothing on ours. They said that, well, since they, it was my father's tools, um, they're not going to cover any of it. Uh, but back in February, they covered the framing crew's entire tool collection uh, when their stuff was stolen in February. And you know, we paid the deductible and they paid us. And so we said, well, my father is our electrical contractor. He's on our permit. He's a licensed contractor in the state of South Carolina. Why is he not getting treated the same way as the framing crew? They came back to us and said it was a total fluke that they paid us in February and that they shouldn't have done that, but they won't reopen that case. Um, and they'll just make that their heir. So we really feel like we're getting the runaround at this point. Um, the person that we were talking to uh, suddenly went on vacation and then um, the person that we dealt with in February says she can't talk to us at all since there's an open claim. So no one else can talk to us except this one person that suddenly went on vacation this week. So we feel like we're getting the runaround. So um, we are gonna get some legal counsel involved. Maybe there is something in the fine print. We read over the fine print this week and we were not entirely sure what was covered for what. And we were asking the people that were in the office and they said they couldn't tell us either because there was an open claim. So apparently this only this one person can talk to us that's unavailable. So it's unfortunate. We probably won't even get restitution from insurance at this point, which um, is really sad for us. I mean, some of the tools that Nathan and I got, we can replace them. I mean, a few of them were given to us around the time of our wedding as gifts. Um, so it's not like we had the financial burden of buying those tools, but the even more fortunate front is a lot of the tools that my dad had, he's had since the 1970s when he built houses with his father. So there's not just like the usefulness of a tool that A, they're well made, and B, there's some sentimental value there. He built houses with his dad. And that's where he knows how to do a lot of this stuff. So we are gonna be starting a GoFundMe to see if we can replace some of my dad's tools. He's wanting to replace them with quality, made in America, just like his things that he had bought in back in the 1970s or were given by his father. So we are gonna start a GoFundMe. I'm gonna link down below to that so that we can help replace some of my father's tools. So we would really appreciate any support that you can give. And if you can't give, feel free to just share this video because that would be really appreciated. And all of your thoughts and prayers as well would be appreciated as we navigate through this messy process. Until next time.